prayers tend to go on, but you, you just have to you have to get out what feels right, you know. Alrighty, I, I'd like to start off tonight and just let everybody know that um, uh, obviously, if you're not aware, we're, we're posting links and text and stuff in the text meeting hall channel while we talk by voice here in the uh, voice. I mention that because I'm about to post a link for you. We have another blog that just went up on the CC website. This one's called Readiness, and it's going to feature um, blog posts um, by On Earth. Um, not all of them are going to have to do with uh, preparedness for emergencies and disasters. Um, We've realized that a lot of what um, Ungirth posts all have to do with readiness, whether it might be spiritual readiness or other. Uh, Kessa actually came up with the description that I have on that page, which is readiness to handle anger with grace, readiness to acknowledge the uncertainties of life, and readiness to acknowledge current events and their potential fallout. So that's a new blog. We'll, uh, we'll hope to uh, see more from Ungirth. Uh, Every time he posts information on things like how to prepare for emergencies and stuff, he gets a lot of back and forth questions and answers. And we've included some of that in the newest article, which is called Readiness Urban Unrest. So please check that out. Um, we've we've steadily been working on the website um, in such a way that we now have uh, a newer comment system. So uh, you can share these articles on Facebook or Twitter. You can rate them with five stars or up to five stars. Um, there are going to be some articles that will even have inline comments, which means like, if the uh, author asks you a question inside their article, there will be a little uh, word balloon guy. And if you click on it, you can add a comment or a question right there in the middle of the article. So lots of cool little innovations there. That's uh, the only thing. I uh, at this time, I'm going to ask if any members or individuals or leaders or anybody have any open meeting business that you would like to share at this moment? Anything at all? Well, I know I brought this up before and there aren't many people here, but I just wanted to remind everybody that there's a group of us trying to get this Call of Duty war zone going and trying to have an active group around here. So hopefully we can get some of you other guys to try it out and join us sometime. Yeah, for those that haven't played the game, um, if you're not a first-person shooter type of person, I understand. But if you are, and if for any reason you're not playing the game because it's Call of Duty or because you didn't like Black Ops or something like that, please give it a try anyway. It is a really well-put-together game. It's really fun. Uh, myself and Tiger both have agreed we are not Call of Duty fans at all. We have never been Call of Duty fans. But we both really like this game, and we think it's uh, it's proven to be uh, kind of cool because we've thrown together a regiment of CC people and people associated with CC, and we have what's called a happy hour at 8 p.m. Eastern every night. If you're playing the game, you get double XP for everything you do. So you can rank up your weapons and your clothing and everything else really quickly. So if you're a first-person fan, give it a shot. We'd love to have you. I'm going to let Sky Ranger finish what he's typing. All righty, Sky Ranger says that Fish Sticks is underway. It's ahead of schedule. Um, as always, please, you can keep up with everything that Sky Ranger is reporting on Fish Sticks in the Colorful Function, which is his CC blog. Um, I, without going into too much detail, uh, Sky has had to go through and kind of change a little bit of the command structure because of the uh, the way that uh, JavaScript has been uh, updated recently through Discord. So a lot of the changes that he's making are um, 
maybe not as obvious as far as like some of the changes are not like in your face, big, huge, you know, massive invention type things he's going through and he's fixing things that may have been problematic for you here recently because of all the JavaScript changes. He's saving a lot of the big stuff, I think for 18. Is that right, Sky? And as Sky's mentioning, you can use uh, fish stick suggest command at any time to suggest any kind of cool ideas you come up with. Uh, several of Fishstick's current functions were just ideas that people tossed out one night, and Sky was like, hey, I think I could do that. And voila. All righty, thank you for that, Sky. We uh, uh, just always look forward to additions, and if nothing else, Maybe uh, maybe people could suggest a couple of new passive commands or, or inside jokes to toss into 17.7, and we we can have at least enough couple of new passive commands. Anytime anybody ever comes up with ideas for fish sticks, please suggest them. They're always welcome. Yes, make more work for Scott. <laughs> Absolutely. Do it. Alrighty, uh, at this time, I'm going to throw it out one more time. If anyone has any questions, suggestions, thoughts, critiques, it doesn't matter how big or how small. If you have anything you'd like to know about the community, anything at all, any open meeting business, you are welcome. That's what the meeting's for. Alrighty, I do not believe we have. We, uh, I guess that's a closed meaning operation. Ah, uh, yeah, that was okay. kind of a note to myself. Alrighty, well. example terraria right now we could totally take advantage of a discussion um keeping track of what's in the world and that sort of stuff and i wonder if we should utilize these discussion rooms more like instead of the terraria chat in discord or um... well alongside it so that we can use the discussion as kind of a hub of information Yeah, the, I, I anticipate difficulty in getting people to jump, but I'm certainly not opposed to that. Especially, are you thinking like informational posts and then they could be linked in the Discord? Yeah, pretty much. That makes sense because. Discord so, like, is we, can, we could have a list of current projects in game some that are planned, some that are being worked on, and some that have been completed. And then mm -hmm. people can look at that and say, oh, I don't need to build a sky bridge. We're already building one. That that would be excellent. And I don't know if we could use it for other games or not, but that was a thought. Especially since we're phasing out the forums, this is kind of another channel we could use if someone still wants that type of thing. Yeah, it tends. you could post it in Discord, but it tends to get pushed up, and people tend not to look at the pins. Exactly. <laughs> but we could pin it. We could pin the link and then just keep posting it. So that was try. it. All righty, welcome, Revelations. All righty, since a couple of people have dropped in, I uh, just want to toss out one more time. If anybody has any open meeting business, now would be the time to bring. Anybody have any open meeting business?
You saw that, Sky? Sanderson's suggestion? She's calling you out, man. <laughs> From now on, if anybody has any suggestions for Sky, just, uh, just title it Automated. Because pretty much that's what he does. He automates everything. <laughs> I think I'm going to suggest building in the fish sticks uh, my direct deposit information so people can send me money easier. Inside joke. Pay no attention. Nothing to see here. Alrighty. Uh, since no one really has any open meeting business, I do apologize for the short meeting tonight because we just didn't have a whole lot of stuff to talk about. But we thank everybody for coming out. And at this time, I'll ask our uh, uh, leaders that are here at the moment uh, that want to get into the closed session and uh, cover a couple of topics there real quickly. We'll do so right now. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. We'll You're have the, welcome. We'll have the meetings up relatively shortly.